Hello, I'm Thomas Grillo, and I'd like to talk with you in this video just briefly about how to flash the Moog Music Theremini to the latest version of the firmware. And I'm doing this video because a couple of people I know have had a little bit of difficulty in navigating to and executing the, uh, the firmware erasure and flashing utility. So I thought I would just go, go ahead and go through this with you. And before I get started, I'm just going to change your viewing angle a little bit so you'll have a better view of this monitor. I think that should do it. I won't be in your way. Okay, so what we need to do is find out what version of the uh, of the firmware is already on board on the Theramini. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and bring up my special camera view. Oops, I need to come out of Windows magnifier, sorry about that. Close that. Alright, we'll go back into the camera view. Now, it's a bit tricky at first, but once you do it a couple of times, it's really not that hard. We'll be holding down the setup button and pressing the power button simultaneously. And when we do that, we need to hold the setup button down until we've read the information on the screen. And here we see we're at Theramini version 1.1.0. I'm done reading that, so I let go of the setup button. Ther Theramini's already booted up. Alright, so we need to boot to the latest version, which as of this video is 1.1.1. So I'm going to power down. And this next bit's a little bit tricky, so we have to do what I call, laughingly, the, uh, the Vulcan mind meld. And so we do that by holding the setup, uh, scale, and, yeah, setup, scale, and root buttons simultaneously while powering up the Theramini. And, of course, we see the Theramini is ready to take its erase uh, protocol, so we're going to send the erase. So I'm going to pop out of that view. I'll bring up my magnifier so I can see what's going on, and you'll be able to see what's going on. All right, I've already browsed to the, uh, the latest, uh, where I put the latest firmware, so We'll go into, since I'm using Windows, I'll go into the Win folder, and we're going to bring up the C6 program. Alright, that's loaded, and we're going to go to Configure, and we'll verify that we're selected, we've selected the utility we're going to be using, which is a Moog Theramini user. Uh, on the Mac, I believe, believe it's a little bit different. So be sure and check the manual for that. Alright, that's that's okay. So now we'll go ahead and we will load the erasure program. And we don't want to be in that folder because that's that's the old school firmware. We want to be in this one. And we'll go to the sysx files. Alright, this is our erasure program. Let me just turn the monitor so you can see it a little better. And we will hit that. Make sure it's highlighted. Okay, we'll hit open. Now here's where it gets a bit tricky. Uh, a lot of people think, okay, I brought it up, it's highlighted. Well, it's not really highlighted. And if you try to hit send, nothing's going to happen. So we single left click, make sure it's highlighted in blue like that. And then we go ahead and hit send. Now I'm going to, while that's doing that, I'm going to pop out of Windows Magnifier. 
and go to my camera view and we see the Theramini boot erase complete send code and that's the Theramini telling us it's ready to receive its new instruction set or firmware so I'll just go ahead and bring up my mag again and now we will go to load and we'll look for this file which is the the uh, system file for for the code and we'll just click on that that's 1.1.1 we'll hit open then we go over here into our loader window we want to verify that we're addressing the correct file and we're looking for it to say this. This is the file we want, the 1.1.syx. And we single left click on it to highlight it. And now we hit send. Okay. While that's being done, I'll just pop out of the magnifying window. There we go. Go back to my Theramini, and we see that it's loading the pages. And once this reaches about 750-ish, the uh, Theramini will reboot. And by the way, this update fixes uh, about three three prob problems that existed with the Theramini, where people had auto there it goes, it's rebooting. Where they had auto mute turned on, uh, you would bring your hand into or to where zero beat w would exist. Uh, you would hear a little bit of a thump at the, at the end of zero beat or at the edge of zero beat. Well, that's been fixed. And there were a couple of other minor issues and you can read about those on the Moog Music website. Alright, so now we want to verify the version of our uh, firmware update. So we're going to power down the Theramini and we'll we will now press and hold setup and simultaneously we will hit the hit the power button and we'll continue to hold setup and we see that we are now on version 1.1.1 and we can release the setup button and that's all there really is to running the, the flash utility for the Theramini by Moog Music. Thank you and have a good day.